morning at 7 a.m., the teachers will say, think about it. And they do this, and all the kids will do it too. It's really cute. And it gives everybody thinking time. But I'm not sure the kids know what they're supposed to do when they're thinking about it. Are they doing a comparison? Are they making a picture? Are they looking for the answer, a content? Are they making a connection to something else? What does that mean? Think about it. So at this point, on your own, individually, how many different verbs can you come up with that describe what you are doing when you are thinking? And this is personal yes to you. And when you are thinking, what are you doing? Take a moment. Quiet. When I was doing this same activity and coming up with my own list, I reviewed that and I said, this looks very familiar to me. Not just blooms, but something that we use with the WIDA. What part of the model performance indicator would this be familiar to or look like? Yeah, the language function. It is the language function. At least that's how I saw it. And if you flip your page, the list that you're given came from the Colorado Department of Education after our WIDA training. It's fascinating that, for me, the function is the thinking. It's what we're doing when we're quote unquote thinking. We're classifying. We have listing, stating, describing, explaining, and giving examples, and critiquing impacts. But the cognitive function is that students are going to evaluate <coughs> the effects of exploration. So at every language level, they're evaluating. That's the thinking. But how are we evaluating? What kind of thinking are we doing? Or what kind of language are we using to get to that level of thinking? It might only be listing at a beginning level. But we're still showing that maybe they're listing in a T-chart. So I kind of integrated all of that, all that together. So very, very similarly here, she's saying, I'm just doing a different level of support. And that's what you'll see. These are called model performance indicators. They are to help us break down lessons so that we can figure out how do we get students to the same level. If you're looking for them, they're in your um, 2012 expanded standards. That's where you find what's called a model performance indicator is broken down for the data. And so the only difference that you're talking about is here, the language function is different. The thinking is the same. We all want them to evaluate. But how they're going to show me, like make their thinking visible, is through a different language function. That's how those model performance indicators are broken down. And I gave you two examples. I just copied those from the um, standards and put them down as an example. And you can see that one above is on the create original items, is the thinking. But how you're going to create is slightly different. The model performance indicator um, allow English language learners to get to that higher level of thinking. Now, I'm not going to do a whole week of session, but I wanted to give that insight of how thinking is embedded into our model performance indicators. It's embedded in our language function. It's embedded in the cognitive function. And what the language function does, it makes it observable. And that's what this whole workshop is about, is making that thinking visible. And if they aren't listing or drawing or putting in a chart or matching, then I'm not sure I can observe their thinking. I was really excited to see that Rita is already doing all of this for us. It's there. Um, the examples are there. And I'd like to give you a moment with the display of the color. How does that function, that language function, help us see their thinking at each language level? That's what I'd like you to look at. How does the language function, that's the first word, the state, match, identify. How does that help me see their thinking? Take a minute with your...